What's up guys, it's your boy OFAB here, and today I'm going to show you guys the best defense rotations pro players use. You guys can add this to your game, up your win percentage, become the best defenders ever in the world. I'm going to show you guys the tips and tricks and the defenses pros run. So, we played against C's. C's is the Atlanta Hawks Gaming PG. He plays for, he's a, a professional NBA 2K League player. That's what that logo right here means. He's a professional PG for the Hawks Gaming team. Um, he's a top three 3v3 PG, and he's a top three scorer in the league. So he's very, very elite. And we're going to show you guys how we slowed him down and the best defenses we run. Please, guys, if I helped you out in this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Especially subscribe, man. We're on a road to 3K. Man, we're doing this full time, guys. We're over here giving tips and tricks. Leaking secrets pros do not want you guys to know. I've been a 2K League pro for five years. Sally, I got banned, suspended. But we on the YouTube grind, so let's go right into the video. So right here, guys, one of the best defensive rotations people run is Stack. So we're going to watch Stack right here. Let's see what Stack is right here. Boom, boom, boom. So if you guys seen that, it was a simple little play. We're going to show you guys Stack right here. So to identify Stack, guys, keep in mind, as a PG, when you're a PG on Pro-Am, your job is to simply just stay in the corner, just watch your corner, make sure you don't get cut on all game. Just deny cuts. That's all you got to do. When you're a PG, you don't have to worry about no rotations at all. Just guard your lock in the corner. Watch them. Make sure you don't get killed by cuts, okay? You don't want to get abused by cuts. You guys want to stay on your man. So, right here. So, as you guys can tell, reverse. The locks on the left side get bodied. The power forward picks them up in pick and roll. So, at pro M, power forwards always guard pick and roll while the big center, 7-3, seven, 7-2, seven, is in the corner. So the big centers are always in the corner, usually on the stack side where two people are. So they can run rotations on that side. And usually power forward it always guards the pick and roll on the center. So that's what we're going to do with our pro-am setup. Every pro-am team does that. Every competitive team does that. The center is always in the stack side corner. They try to get in the center in the stack side corner. PG guards the lock by himself, watches the cuts. Power forward guards center. So right here, Townley gets bodied. My lock gets bodied on the left. Power forward's on the right. And if you guys know how stack works, power forward or the lock releases to the wing. Shooting guard goes from the wing to the corner. The center drops. Boom. He shoots that bad shot. Tomley's rotating. My lock is rotating to right. Box out. Boom. All right. So right here, this is what a lot of pro players call reverse. So reverse right here. It's when the center is on the lone side right here but the ball's right here on the ball side so if the center's right here and it's really close to the ball a lot of people run triangle right here or a reverse so what so remember you guys can only run triangle or reverse if the center's in the play on the same side on the short side like this me and the guard on the stack side and usually there's no rotations for this no rotations for us at all remember i'm guarding my man and there's nothing he could do right here so the rotation is going to be on this side always it's going to be always on this side. So it's going to be a reverse or a triangle. So a triangle is when the lock guards the wing right here. And the power forward steps up right here. The center drops. The power forward releases here. And the, but this is reverse. So it's the opposite of triangle. We're going to show you guys triangle later on. But this is reverse. So the lock guards the wing heavy. The power forward comes up guards this area. You see this? They're in like in a little box right here. If the center slips... My center drops and the lock reverses to his. And that's exactly what happens. Boom. That's what we call reverse. They end up being stuck. The play was dead. But you see how reverse works? The lock calls the side. The lock's like, I'm on the wing, I'm on the wing. Power forward guards the middle. They call him reverse, rever or reverse, reverse. So, so when you do the reverse, it's right when the center slips, you reverse. So center sold it. And we call reverse. Lock runs to the corner. Center steps down. So we're going to do it one, one last time. They call them reverse. Power four steps middle. Lock guards the wing. Releases to the corner. Center drop. All right, guys. So right here is something we like to call stack. Stack rotation. We're going to break it down right here real quick. Boom. We have our shooting guard on ball. He gets beat. Boom. So we're going to watch that in slow motion real quick. So right here, our shooting guard's on ball, right? Sometimes you're going to have your center end up 
and pick and roll off scenarios like loose balls, offensive rebounds, something. Somehow your slow 7-3 center, 7-2 center is going to be in pick and roll, which you do not want that. You want your fastest player guarding the, behind the lock. So you want you want your power forward on pick and roll. But somehow our center, who is really slow, 7-3 center, is in pick and roll. He's supposed to guard corner, but he ends up in pick and roll. So as we guys notice, I'm here in the corner. There's not much I can do. I just got to worry about my man and cuts. My lock is right here. My power forward's right here. So you identify where the next rotation is, where the help is. So power fours can drop. Power fours can drop. So right here is a stack call. So what stack usually means is the the shooting guard, on ball defender, guards right here on the wing, guards the wing area, gives up the middle, the center steps middle, the center steps middle right here, the lock plays two and releases last minute. And then rim drops. The power forward drops right here. So we're going to look at it in slow motion. This is called stack. So they're calling stack right now. He gives up the middle. Rainbow does a good job. You see how the court... Timely's a lock. This guy right here is a lock. So he can play right here. Guard two. Rim's getting ready to drop. You see that? You see that? There's nothing open here. There's nothing open here. There is nothing open here. So they're dropping. Power forward's dropping on the roll. My lockdown is guarding two. Rainbow's job is right after this, he comes to the wing. So he jumps, gives it up, boom. So how a real stack is really ran though, guys, he doesn't use the jump. He just guards it for a second and runs to the wing. So instead of jumping, Rainbow should guard this. So how our stack really works, Rainbow should guard this, wait for my shooting guard to get back in the play, and then release to the wing. But he jumps. He probably thought he was really aggressive and going to shoot this, so it was a good jump. But the goal is to brush by him a little bit, just contest it a little bit, and then sprint to the wing, wait for this guy right here to get back to the play. Uh, the wing right here drops to the corner, and the right corner drops to the paint. So, boom, and then Rainbow, first thing he did was right, run to, my center ran to the right wing. So that's a good play. That's called stack right there, guys. All right, guys, so right here is something really simple. My job is to simply stay in the corner. There's going to be plays where they just guess past you. They're stuck. Nothing much to be said. Just stay in the corner. That's all I got to say, pretty much. Just stay, just stay your butt in the corner. Let your team rotate play defense. Usually, a lot of PGs have no defensive builds. So, they just stay in the corner and just get steals like that. So, if you're a PG, just stay in the corner. All right. As you guys can see here, uh, C's got badge. And th we're going to run reverse again. And if you guys remember where reverse is, the lock guards a wing, runs to the corner, and the power forward picks a ball in the middle, and the center drops. So... This is going to be another reverse call right here. Boom. He got a rim run. You got a power forward with 99 block jump in. You got a center drop in. And Townley runs to the corner. Boom. Misses a quick drop. Right here, guys, going to be another reverse right here. You got to see Townley's on the wing, playing the wing heavy. He's denying his wing. You see him? He is denying the wing heavy. He's denying the wing heavy. He's making him go middle. If he comes middle, the power forward picks up. The center drops. Townley releases. It's another reverse. See that? Power four steps up. They run a reverse. Reverse is one of the most commonly used defensive calls. And it works for anyone guarding ball. So like shooting guard could be guarding ball. So if the shooting guard was right here, you could still run a reverse for shooting guard. It's it's whenever your center's on the same side and the power forward's on pick and roll, you can run a reverse with anybody. So so imagine me at point guard being where number two is, where Townley is, where my lock is. You could be a PG. Again, isolated, and all you gotta do is guard one side, and then just reverse to the corner. So you could do this with any build. You could do this with any build to confuse the PG, or if you have a bad defender on ball. I'm not saying that my lock's a bad defender. He's a man. He's wonderful. He's a great defender. But I'm saying if we switch roles, I have no defensive build. If I'm somehow up top and I'm stuck, I could just play one side like this, force the middle, and then I can reverse out of there. I could get out of there. See? That, that's why reverse is so good, guys. And then right here, I'm not even fast forwarding. Right here, we go right into a stack. Boom. And then PG job is right here. You get you get small opportunities to make a play on defense. And this is a big opportunity. It's crazy because he greened it. That was such a good shot. But we're going to look at this beautiful defensive display right here. We're playing against all pro players on the other team, guys. So... They're all pro players, so these aren't bums that we're calling these defensive plays on. These work. So we reversed it, and then we went straight into a stack. So you guys see that? 
All you gotta do in stack, remember we have a big on the right side, and peep this. To run stack, you need your center or your power forward to be in the corner. My power forward's up top, but look, they do a quick, quick switch. They quick switch it, you see? Power forward went from the right wing, now he's in the corner. So, my shooting guard plays the wing, gives up the middle. They call stack. Rainbow Sally went down a little bit. He needs to trust his teammates and come up a little bit. He, he did a great jump. It should have been a contest. Now there's a center rolling free. Rim is going to grab the board. And my job is to be make a play. Make a play on defense. I put my butt on the center so Rim could get the board. It was just a good shot by the other team. So one last time, guys. Let's look at how great this was. We did a reverse and a stack in the same play. So remember, reverse. The lot goes to the corner. Power forward picks up. Center drops. Boom, reverse. Then we got a stack. Play the wing. Give up the middle. Middle picks up. Boom, late contest. I box out. Should have been a board, but it was a great shot by him. Right here, guys, you guys can automatically tell. If you guys been watching through this whole video, you guys can tell. The power forward's middle. The lock's right here. Sometimes, if people figure out you're going to run reverse, the defense likes to bait it and mask it and pretend they're doing it. But as you guys can see right here by this video I'm making, it's a rotation video, so you guys can kind of tell what's going to happen. The power forward's right here, the lock's right here, and if you guys been listening to me, you guys know it's going to be a reverse, right? So it's going to be a reverse again. Boom. Power forward's middle. Lock guards the wing. Rotates down. Boom. They're stuck. Uh, Rainbow reached. He thought uh, he thought he was going to get a, a pluck right there. Good little drop. Good little defense. We can't, we can't worry about the outcome. We have to worry about making the good play, and we made a good play. So, boom, reverse. Reverse right there, boom. If, if that's the shot they take all game, we live with it because it's going to be box, you know? So right here, as you guys can tell by my other rotations I told you, we have someone guarding the wing. We have our lock guarding the wing heavy. We have our power forward right here guarding the middle heavy. And we have a center right here. So as we know, when the center's on the other side of the court, you could run stack. Stack is when he drops, when the shooting guard drops over here, and someone releases the wing, right? So we know what stack is. So this looks like a stack situation. You guys could tell this is a stack situation right here. Because someone's guarding the wing heavy. Power forward's probably going to step up and release here. So we'll see what happens. I guarantee it's a stack. Boom. You see that? Boom. See that? Power forward steps a little bit. Center's supposed to drop. Power forward releases to the right wing. Right wing releases to right corner. Boom. It should have been a block. It should have been a block. It should be a missed dunk. Let's see it in real time. Remember, guys, this is called stack. Give up the middle. Middle picks up. Center picks up. Boom. So stack right there. Usually, guys, if you know a stack coming, you're going to do a quick guest pass to the right wing. Right wing is open. We'll see if it's open right here. Uh, I mean, that's a good pass. But usually the right wing is semi-open. The right, right wing has to make a quick decision. Pull up mid, a shot, or a quick dot to the paint or the corner. But this is a good little play by them. But as you guys can see, stack is very effective. You're not going to win the game all game by doing contested dunks every play. So this is a great stack. Remember, to run stack, someone plays the wing heavy, gives up the middle. The middle picks up. The other, side, other corner drops. The wing guards this and then releases. When the power forward picks up middle, he releases right wing. So the lock's on the left. Power forward picks up. Power four picks up, slip happens, power four releases to the right wing, right wing releases to the right corner, right corner drops. All right, guys, so right here, I'm trapping him heavy because I know my power forward can get to my corner and contest this and guard this. So they don't really want to rush right now. They're valuing their possession, so I'm being really aggressive right here. And if he calls a cut, they're in a bad position because I can come up and guard this wing and my power forward could drop and get the cut. That's why when a lot of, like, a lot of subscribers and a lot of people that come in my videos, they say your defensive build is going to get killed on defense. No, it's not because pro M is team defense. Park is team defense. If you play team defense, you could play defense with any build. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You guys don't need defensive uh, builds at point guard. You don't need defense on your build. So this is going to show you why uh, right here. I bump him a little bit. I should have got a steal, whatever. But my power forward backs up. And gets the contest for me. You see that? So we're going to look at it in real time. You can't really pick on PGs like that if you have good team defense. So I come up, I come up, I come up. Shade a little bit. I get back. They call a cut. My power forward drops. Boom. 
So if you got good team defense, you could play defense with any build, guys. I have no build. I have no defensive stats on my build, so you guys just need team defense for that. As you guys see here, my lock again is playing heavy on the wing. Power forward's playing heavy in the middle. As you guys know, as I got, as I told you guys before, they're gonna run a reverse. So boom, he's playing his wing heavy. Gives up the middle. Boom, reverse, 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 reverse. Reverse, if you guys don't know, one of the most commonly ro uh, used rotations, so is stack. I'm showing you guys the two rotations teams use 99% of the time. So the, lo uh, so the lock is playing the hash. Boom, he's playing the wing. Drop, see? That's reverse right there. All right, as you guys see right here, you guys already know what that rotation was right there. That was a good rotation. They made it, but it doesn't matter. We ran, we executed the game plan. So right here, my, my sharp, my shooting guard is on his wing heavy. You see that? He's on his wing heavy. So that means power four has to come up. Power four comes up. He runs back to his man. Center drops. He runs to the corner. See, so that's still considered stack right there, guys. Like stack, power four picks up, and they make a play. So he guards his wing heavy. Power four comes up. They dot the hash. And then rotate down. Alright, so this rotation, we all know what it is. If you guys don't know, it's called triangle. So triangle, we're going to reverse the roles real quick. So you guys seen reverse all the time. Reverse is when the lock guards the wing. Power forward picks up middle. But now, the lock is going to guard the middle. And the power forward guards the wing. And then it's going to be the same concept. But a different a different uh, scheme call. It's called triangle. So instead of him guarding the wing, he's going to confuse him and guard the middle. So we're going to see that right here. He guards the middle. He runs middle. Power forward's going to step up wing. As soon as he steps up wing, center drops on the slip. And then power forward releases to the corner. Boom. I know they're scoring, guys, but you're not going to win games running like that. And it could be more fluid. You get, you get what I'm saying? It could be more fluid. So remember, power forward steps. Boom. That's considered, that's called a triangle. It's not reverse. It's a triangle. Because it's a triangle because the power forward is stepping on the corner and rotating to the corner. So he's gonna get beat. So he's gonna play his middle, and they're gonna call a triangle. They're gonna say triangle, 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 triangle. And if it's a triangle, power forward steps up in this area where he could guard the hash point guard, and he can release to the corner real quick. And then they release and center drops. That's called a triangle. So guys, we ran these rotations against professional NBA 2K League players. All these guys get paid, get paid money to play the game. These rotations work on anybody, guys. Trust me. Been a pro player for five years. I've been playing 2K at the highest level for 10 plus years. Trust me, guys. This is a competitive channel, but we're going to start venturing off to park, gameplay, uh, doing more entertaining content. But first, my goal is to teach you guys how to be the best players in the world. And wow, look at us. 18 for 21, 10 for 11. Shoot. No turnover. See, we played perfect. Uh, they're all pro players. Perm was in the league uh, two years ago. Mav was in the league two years ago. Wavy in the league two years ago. They're all pro players. So we're playing against all pro players. Rain is the Pacers center. Shout out to him. Um, yeah, they're all pro players. This channel is going to give you guys breakdowns on how to be the best player in the world. I'm going to give you guys pro tips and tricks and pro secrets that they don't want you to know. I'm looking out for you guys. I love you guys. All I ask is make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show me some love. We're blowing up, guys. We're go My goal is to hit 30K subscribers at least before 2K24. Man, let's smash that goal, guys. Uh, let's become one of the best channels on YouTube for 2K. We're not giving up. I want to post every day. So if you guys have any advice for me, any videos you guys want me to make, leave it down below. But this was the best rotation video, what the pro players run. Make sure you guys add this to your game. Let me know if this increases your win percentage. Remember, everybody on the court has a role. If you're a PG, play your role and just face guard your man and watch your cuts. Do some box outs. Everyone else, lock in on the rotations. Show this to your friends. Share this video. It's your boy, OFab. I love you guys, and I'm out.